Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. Here we are today to finish up our Vintage Christmas Joy folder. Uh, it's a pocket folder, and um, we're going to finish this up. It is something that you could slide a journal into, but you know the way I fill them up, I never leave myself any room. Actually, any folder or folio that I show you, you could add a journal to. You could stitch it in, you could add it in, you could set it in, or a notebook. But I fill mine up so much, I just never leave myself any room. You could have easily folded this so that you had a spine if you wanted it. So this piece is very versatile. So today we're going to finish it up. As you can see, I've done a lot of work to it. I am going to move my little goodies off my desk so we can get busy. I'm gonna set that aside. And we're going to get busy. So welcome everyone. Welcome to all my new subscribers. So happy to have you all here. It's very exciting to me. And then welcome back to each and every one of you who watch me on a regular basis. I love you all. Thank you for doing so. Alrighty, so let's get busy. Um, I wanted to show you this darling little charm set that I made to go on here. We have a little rocking horse, a music, a star, and a happy holidays. I've wrapped it with some red hem tape ribbon. And then I've decorated the cover. I've added some pretty sparkles, some words um, that I put on to some ribbon. And then I've added a nice little cluster here. Um, maybe as you could see that. Okay, let me double check where we're at because I always need to do that, making sure you guys could see it. Hopefully. Um, we've been having camera issues, so, you know, I don't know what's going on with my phone. We bought this really expensive phone to do these videos and... Honestly, my old success made better pictures. <laughs> so who knew, right? So anyway, this is our back. It has a pocket. I have done some decorating and there's a couple tags in here which we're going to decorate today. I have some lace on the spine and then I've put some extra laces, you know, right here on the side. And I've added lace across the bottom and the top. We have... Uh, a word here from th these are all from um, Jolene at a jewel design these are all her her kit pieces um, these are not in the kit but they're a separate sheet so she does have work Christmas word sheets in multiple colors she has them in pink and blue and uh, white and she has them in um, kind of a minty color and for those of you who are into the shabby and then we have our traditional red and green so as you can see, I've added some poinsettias, some vintage laces, I've added pearls and um, sequins and just all kinds of goodies. And then I've added a ribbon in the back that's nice and sheer. And then I've also, you know, um, add a little eyelet here to tie my ribbon on with. Then you open it up and there we go. So you're going to think, well, it's all done. Yes, I did finish the insides of this. And I have loaded it with the things that I need to decorate. So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to work on decorating the pieces that are going to go inside the pockets. Now this one has some trim and I've added stickles and I've added um, vintage laces, more stickles, a little um, stick on sticker and more stickles. And then on this side over here, um, I added a cute little flag and um, flags on a string. So bunting, basically I've added bunting here and I've added a pocket here. And I, you know, saw, you saw me all add all these pockets to the base, but I've decorated up while we were off camera because I would be here forever and I have to move on. So we have lots of little goodies with laces and we have sequins and we have sickles and we have sparkles and you know, the work. So this one's all decorated up. And again, it's going to have goodies that are going to go inside of it. We flip the page. We go into this side, which has ended up being a um, pocket and an envelope, all at the same. It's got a little tag in it, which we need to decorate. The envelope has created a pocket inside. It is also a belly band as well, which we can have here. And then we have another pocket in the back. As you know, I like to leave a lot of pockets. So we need to decorate those up. Over here, I've created a little sort of slash pocket belly band, and I've decorated up with some pretty, um, this is a Merry Christmas sequin kind of thing. And then we have the joy. So as you could see, I don't know. And then I have added vintage rickrack here, vintage laces, rickrack here, vintage rickrack. 
And then I have um, lace at the bottom of each one of these. And I got these laces from Gail Agostinelli when she had them in her shop. She was doing a clear out of some of her laces. So I went and bought some and I'm so glad I did because Gail, sweetie, these have been perfect for me. Thank you. Thank you for putting those up for sale. So um, this is one of Jolene's vintage Christmas definitions and this is vintage book page behind it. So we've got the vintage mixed in with the old and the new and then we have two tags over here that need decorating. So as you could see, we have quite a bit of work to do. I don't know how much we'll get done today. We'll go as far as we can. Then I will finish the rest off camera and that will be it. I may do a quick flip through. Um, probably when it comes up for sale in my shop, I'll let you know. I have a bunch of things that are going to go up for sale and I'll let you guys know when that's going to happen. All right, so let's set that book off. I got a figure place to put it so nothing happens to it and it's out of our way. <laughs> All right, so we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, <laughs> 14, 15, 16, 17 pieces to complete. That will not happen during this hour, but I'm gonna do my best. Alrighty, so let's get busy right away and figure out what we're gonna put on each of these pieces. Um, she doesn't need much. I'm, I'm thinking if I do anything, it would be to add a little sparkle or stickle to her. I'm gonna do the same thing with Santa and I won't do those on screen because that's pretty tedious to watch. So I'll just set these off to the side because I really feel like they don't need a whole lot else. So I'm gonna put those over with the book. Oh, there we go. Set those off to the side. And um, all these pieces you see here, not those two that I just put over there, but all these here are from her kit. And then I have, I'm gonna be adding other pieces in to decorate. So I'm wondering if I want to add the girl to this one. No, I think that's kind of busy. I think I will save her for maybe something like this or um, maybe something that, oh, you know what? I would love it on this one, but I don't know. I'll show you this piece in just a minute. We lose a piece if we put her on there. I need something skinny here. Hmm. Okay, we may or may not use her today. We'll see. I mean, I do have that tag and that one. This is a vintage Christmas card, and I honestly think I'm not going to do anything with this other than maybe ink the edges a little bit because it is vintage, um, 1950s, I think. So I'm... it. Someone wrote in a little note that says, have a great Christmas, and I'm going to leave that on there because I think... That is perfect as is, so we're gonna put that off to the side. I have another one here. I think this one I may add some lace to. Actually, I'm thinking now that I've looked at that other one, I think I could add some laces just to zhuzh them up a little bit. Maybe I will do that. All right, let's 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 do that. And let's set, I'm not gonna remember where all these went. Ah, well, I'm just gonna make them and then I'll figure out where they're gonna go. How's that? We'll do that. Let's just make a pile. And I'll pull these out if I think I need them. But I will be using some of my other, of lots and lots and lots of ephemera, Christmas ephemera. Look at this. <laughs> this is my Christmas ephemera book from um, Kits Past for Christmas that I bought and cut and didn't really get to use as much. I have another one here. I have boxes beside me galore. I have all kinds of things for Christmas. So I think we're pretty well... I should have everything I could possibly want to decorate these from the last two Christmases. I think this is my third or fourth Christmas doing. Um, so let's, looking to see what laces I want to use. I really like this lace. I'm gonna use that one. I have my last lace box off to the side of me. I hope you're all well and happy and um, everybody's well in your family. No one's sick with a cold or flu because I heard they are going around like crazy. Now these cards have a bit of a, this one doesn't, but this one's got kind of a shiny. So I'm thinking I'll have to use fabric check for that. So let's get busy here and let's get decorating. Put some lace on the bottom here. I'm trying not to use just pearls. I'm trying to use other, you know, bits and pieces, uh, jewels and things, but we'll see, you know, going to add a little bit of lace across the bottom here. I guess I will be using pearls probably. So 
soon as I pull out lace, I feel like, oh, I need pearls. So let's get this going. I love Christmas. Um, it isn't my absolute favorite holiday. Fall is, but I do love it a lot. And um, I have, I love decorating Christmas for sure. I mean, decorating my projects and I love decorating my house for Christmas. Um, I don't live for Christmas, but I, I do love it. The traditional aspects of it. And also the religious aspects of it. So, all right. Hmm. Why did I put such a sharp edge on that one? That does not look very good. Um, I want to apologize for the last couple of videos. I, I've been pretty down. I'm great. I'm doing great now. I'm feeling better. Um, and we've had just blurry video after blurry video. I don't know. We're just having all kinds of issues. And so hopefully we've got that mastered. Um, hmm, I won't speak too soon. We'll see how this video does. We've changed the, um, what we're doing a little bit. So hopefully we'll get it more clear. When we had it really clear, it was taking six hours to upload. So we were doing something wrong. We changed that. We're novices. As we said, when I started out, I had no idea what we would get. And I didn't know if I would keep on doing this or not. So the fact that I'm still doing it's pretty good. Considering when I started, I didn't think I would be still doing this. So I'm looking at my laces. Give me a minute. I'm going to see what I have for this one. <laughs> It is early Saturday morning. You will see this hopefully on Monday. And hopefully, if everything goes well as planned, this will be the last video of this design team project for Jewel Design. And I will be moving on to my next one for Shabby Art Boutique. And oh boy, where do you see this kit? <gasps> it is so gorgeous. It's kind of an aqua pink and... Um, Kind of a candy apple red. Oh, gorgeous kit. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Can't wait to get my hands on it. This is a gorgeous kit because this is traditional Christmas. So for those of you who like traditional, this should do it for you. And for those of you who are into the shabby look, uh, you will love this next kit and the projects I'm doing in that one. I have a traditional paper project and then I've got some sort of more... Um, Oh, what do you call it? Mixed media for that those that kit. I've got multiple projects for that one. We'll see how many I actually get completed. For the pumpkin one that I did, I had um, three projects I was able to complete. And there is a video out for that, the last two that I did. I didn't do them on video, but I did put them on a video so you could see them. Okay, I don't mean... I love this. You can see the embossing on the back from the card. I love these old, old Christmas cards. Well, they're not super old. I mean, they're not Victorian or anything, but they are retros, 50s and 60s. This one is absolutely from that. It was in my dad's stash. Someone had sent it to him. Okay, and then let me see if I want to put another piece across the top. Or maybe a little bow. Well, that's very pretty. Adds a little something. I don't want to overdo it, but I want to put something on here. And maybe a really narrow red bow. Of course, one thing I did not bring in was my ribbon. Ah, I had it in here and I thought, oh, I won't need it. Sh shoot. I do need it. Darn it. I might have to leave for a split second and have you hear me thump, thump, thump my way over to my... <laughs> my studio ah oh i know what i could use i'll have to get it down but at least i don't have to leave the studio to do it i can use some of my little bows i don't have too many red bows left though i am down on so much of my stuff with um that pandemic that michael's is you know really not carrying a lot of that anymore or wasn't last time i went i don't know if they're completely stocked up I doubt it because everyone's having trouble getting stuff on their shipping containers. Tim Holtz talked and his buddy there talked a lot about what is happening with the shipping industry and why we don't have anything in our craft stores and um, why he doesn't have his stuff's not in the craft stores like it should be. So I thought that was a really good video that he did. Um, it wasn't just about that. He was, he was showing off some of his new 
product and said, you know, when he thought they would hit the stores, he was hoping, but I definitely want a, a bow right there. Let's see what I got next to me. Too bright, too shiny, and too big. <laughs> too bright, too shiny, too big. Let me see. Again, I put something else away. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I did find some ribbon from something else. I just pulled it off of a tag. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can make us a little bow. It is a very cool morning here this morning. It's just in the 50s for California. That's cool. Um, it's only going to be, yesterday was about 61. Today it's supposed to be about, I think, right around the same. That was a perfect day yesterday, perfect fall day. I wonder if I should just put it like right in the middle of that one, make it kind of a double bow. Hmm. This ribbon's really crunched right here. It's just not looking great. What do we think? I guess we could put it there. I don't know. Let me get some of my other goodies. I don't have a lot of red out yet. I mean, I'm pulling things out every day, believe me, but... I have more red bows somewhere. I'm going to have to look around for my doll making. Um, I used to just use these on my dolls, on their dresses and stuff. I'll put that on the floor. I like that up there. Let me... I wish that ribbon wasn't crinkled right there. Hoping with the warmth of my hands, which acts like an iron. We can get the crease out. I don't want to rub it too hard because it's not a really expensive ribbon here. Well, let's try this again. What if we make it on this end? No, we're still going to get that crinkly bow. Hmm. All right, I don't like how crispy red this is. I'm going to dumb it down a little bit with whatever ink is on my dauber. Kind of get a little bit on the pearl. Hope my voice isn't too soft. It is morning and um, I'm not, I have all my, I'm not awake yet. <laughs> well, I think that's good. I feel like I want something Oh, you know what that's going to mean, right? Excuse my reach. And out the cup. <laughs> I tried, I tried, I tried. I couldn't do it, you guys. I have to have my pearls. It's my signature move. I hate putting pearls on everything, but there's not a lot to choose from. It's either that or it's um, some... I do have some bling. I could put some bling on here. Maybe I could do that instead of the pearls. Let's put some gold bling. Let's try that, and we'll leave that pearl there. I do have to trim this up a bit, get off all the little doodads. I have bling in every color. I have it in gold, silver, red, green, black. I was looking at some pieces that I did when I first started out, and boy, did I use a lot of, of diamante <laughs> diamonds, you know, the fake diamonds of calm diamante. Um. I don't want to take too long. I love to do Christmas stuff, but I take forever to make Christmas goodies. I just do. I take forever in a day. I'm just, I'm not going to put that there. I just want to see if a little one would look good in there, and it would. I like the idea of a red bow, but not this one. Okay, you guys, hang on a minute. You know, I'm going to have to leave you for just a second. I'll be right back. Still filming. I 
I'm back. Okay, I have my ribbons. <laughs> okay. I went as fast as I could. Silly me thinking I would not need these ribbons. I had to tell my husband I was still filming so he wouldn't come up here to take down my video. So I was like, oh. all right. Okay. There we go. Ta-da! Okay. So what I want is... I don't know how fat a ribbon I want, but I'm thinking, there we go. Oh, that was a sprint. It's across the hall, but it's a little bit. I mean, it's not directly across the hall. I had to run a little. All right. I mean, I like this, but it's just not what I wanted. Now, one thing I am going to do, I've got to learn to put out some paper because we both know I'm going to make a mess at some point. So let's do this. It's going to take me forever just to do one card. It's going to be done before I even get any further. Oh my goodness. That's why I did so much of it off camera. I just, especially at Christmas, I just want to take my time and make all these pretties. Okay, I just want to kind of age it up a little bit. All right. I don't know if that really helped or not, but we'll see, right? I'm probably going to do a couple videos. If I don't finish this one today and I want to do a few more, you might find two on this that I'll release close together with a reveal maybe. I don't know. And who knows? I might not put all this ephemera in there. I just pulled it. You know you know how you do that. You, you go through and you say, oh, I... Um, If that's just too narrow and that's what's bugging me okay i have a fatter one let's try the next size up i'll just leave that attached actually i know i'm gonna need some red bows so i will just go ahead and cut it and put it in my little bow jar and we will use that later let's go to a little bit wider ribbon what have i got mm. One in between, you know. Oh, yeah, I do. Here's an in between one. Let's try that one. Now, some of this ribbon is from my mom's stash, and some of it's mine. And I used a lot of ribbon in my doll making, so um, I made soft cloth dolls. All right, let's try a, just a good old fashioned red bow here. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's age this up a little bit. It's a little shiny for me. And you know how I like to run it, my ribbon through my ink, just to give it a little, I don't know if it, sometimes it works. I know it works on my creams and my whites. I just am not sure. I just did my thumb, <laughs> so I know the ink's working. But I'm not sure how it works on this red, so we'll see if it did anything. I doubt it, but yeah, it did. It sort of took down the over shiny part. All right, because we want this is a very vintage kit, so I don't want to have it too new looking. Let me try. Yeah, I think it's going to go in the middle there. I do. I'm actually going to put that in the basket next to me because I'm pretty sure it's going to get used a lot. I don't think I need one quite this long. Well, I don't know. I kind of like that. Maybe in between. We could do a halfway between the printed one and the... There we go. All right, well, we're just going to have to stop fussing or I'm never going to get, I mean, I've spent 20 minutes on this bow. I mean, on this page. <laughs> That's not okay. All right, let's get some fabric tech. I 
I've gone through so much stickles that I'm going to have to put in order with um, Amazon today and hopefully get it soon. I went stickle crazy. I don't know which side I like better. Let me do this side. Okay, up. Oh, you can hear the dog next door barking. He's not outside a lot, so you rarely hear him bark. He'll just bark for a few minutes till whoever's walking by or... It's Saturday, so people are home today, you know. It's not like during the week when I film, there's no one around. I'm going to put the little stones there and then I'll add another one there. I have some beside me here somewhere. This is on a sticky, but it is not sticky at all. You absolutely have to add glue. I mean, it might work on paper, but I don't think so. Okay, that's pretty. All right, I we'll want one in the middle of that. So let me see what I have next to me in my little baskets. I've got these little strips. Well, they're actually in rounds and I have tons of them. I used them on some of my princess dolls that I was making at one point and um, they're not your old school doll. They're, they're more of a contemporary doll. And so I'm going to put that on my little plate. Oh, I don't want to lose that little stone because I know I'm going to use it. I know I am. All right, so let's get this. Oh, yes. Where I was like, where was I putting that? Oh, it was a long week. I'm really happy to be done. Oh, yesterday. <laughs> I had to go get my blood work. So after that, as my reward, I got to go to Dollar Tree. Yay! And do some craft shopping. And I was so shocked. They had like four aisles of craft stuff. Craft. C-R-A-F-T. <laughs> because I didn't enunciate that correctly. Um, and they had all this. Oh, my gosh. They had a little bit of Halloween left, but not much. But the Christmas stuff was out. Now, I don't know if the Christmas stuff is starting to get picked over or it just wasn't all out. But, boy, I had a great time in there. I did a pretty good haul. <laughs> Lots of ribbons and sparkly things and all kinds of fun things. Okay, so I think that that tag is done. And we'll let that dry. I'm going to set that off to the side and let it dry. Um, but I went shopping yesterday. <laughs> so... Oh, yeah. You know how your buddy is. Get her on the Dollar Tree because it's a buck. You know, you just start throwing stuff in and you don't pay any attention to what you're doing. <laughs> and before you know it, uh-oh, you know, I think I have red of this. I just don't know. I want the red ones for there. I may have to wait on that. I'm going to see. I have green. I guess I could use green, right? Excuse myself here. Um... I'm looking to see if I have the red or if I have it in another drawer or I'm going to have to go look in. I have it in a couple places. All right. Excuse me. Um, I didn't see any. But I could use the green for now. Ooh. Where did that come from? Hmm. Put that in our little basket. Why isn't that cute? Hmm. Hey, that's really cute, you guys. I think I'm going to put that there. I want to put something on that. Maybe some stickles, but... I like it. I like it. All right. I don't even know where that came from or what that was on. Huh. Isn't that funny? My little drawer. Oh, well, I would love to use these green. <laughs> I know I have some of the red. I just, I'm not exactly sure. I thought I did. I'll have to look around. Might be in my um, sewing studio where I have all my, my stuff. I might want to do this is this one's just a mesh it's not the same as that other in fact it's kind of wound on there weird I don't know this one's from the Dollar Tree the other ones aren't I think they might be up on one of my high shelves in my studio my sewing studio okay. I'm just trimming around the little edges on this thing the little mesh that it was sitting on well, if this isn't fiddly, I'm trying to cut my finger at the same time. Uh oh, okay. 
I'm gonna put, I just filled, I topped off all my bottles last night, so. Sorry, looking for my tweezers. There we go. Hopefully my head wasn't in the camera. Yeah. Okay. I wanted to put that lighter one in the middle just to lighten it up a little bit. It seemed a bit, um, oh, that gave us some dimension too. Is that stuck on there? No, it's not, but it will be. Okay. I don't even know where that came from. I think it, it probably came in an order that I bought, you know, something that I bought from Etsy. Um, I want to... I think I do. Hmm. I'm going to think about that. I might put some stickles on it. Anyway, I'm thinking that it's going to go there. and But my problem is it may not fit in the envelope. Oh, no, wait. This is going into the back. It may be okay. Let me see. If I leave that on there, is that going to work in here? Yeah, I could put it in there and it closes okay. Yep, it closes. So yes, I can leave that on there. So I just have to decide if I wanna add a little stickles or something to it, right? So I think that'll be okay. Um, let's put, it's not stuck on there tight, but it's on there for right now. I have a little lace here. Then I was thinking I wanted some, of the green. I would like to have some red down there, but I don't know if I have any. I gotta look. As I'm talking to you guys, I'm thinking, where did I put that? Do I have any? And where? The green's pretty. It's just nice and soft. It's not overly crazy, so. Uh-oh, my shirt's hooked on my bracelet. I want to put my sleeves up. There we go. Got to get those sleeves up. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and glue those on there, and then I'm going to look around to see where all my red goodies are. I didn't even think about those till just now, and I, I think I have them, but, you know, hmm. I watched so many videos, it could be someone else. <clears throat> that has those and not me. And then I kind of want to, um, let me see. I've got sequins here. Um, there they are. Looking for my tweezers. Okay. What are you guys up to this weekend? I'm crafting. Finishing some decorating and possibly well definitely laundry and cleaning the house a little bit so that's my exciting weekend and maybe a trip back to dollar tree there's a couple things that um i thought i got enough of but i did not and i need to go back and get a couple more storage boxes they had some really uh, cute ones that i like to use and so i need to go back and see if they have any more storage boxes and then I found a new treat over there that I was like, yum. So um, I'm going to see if they have any left because <laughs> they go fast. Yesterday, it was really busy over there. The place was, oh, whoops, there was two there. Hmm, there we go. Um, it was packed yesterday. So what I did is I put some of their little sequins, their little sequin packs into these little jars that they sell at Dollar Tree to hold little things that I would use all the time so I don't have to go run and get the big box every time I want to use something. Wasn't that cute? <clears throat> I'm really happy with that. So I might add some stickles. I might not. Um, oh, I have some miniature bells. Oh, and of course, did I bring them in? Let's see, guys. Fingers crossed. I did, but they're not small enough. I don't think. Do I have anything smaller? Let me see. Some of these are vintage. These are vintage, very, very, very vintage. These are very vintage as well. See these? 
It would be fun to put a bell on there, but I swear I have smaller ones. I do. I have to go look for them. Oh, and that'd be cute on there, but a tiny one. Okay, so I'm going to look and see if I can find myself an itty-bitty bell. I do have some really old, old bells like these somewhere. I'm going to look for them, um, but it would be fun to have that on there. All right. Some of these are vintage and some are not. All right, so I don't have a small enough one here. So I need to write myself a note of things I need to look for, right, in my other studio, which is where a lot of my Christmas uh, decorating stuff is. So we need to look for mini bells. And what was the other thing? Oh, red diamonds. Okay, so when I'm done with this video, I will remember because otherwise I won't. My, my memory is horrible. Ugh, awful. Well, there we are. I like that. The other thing, if I don't find any, what I think I would do is put a, a little gold um, sequin there. What I'll do is I'll put it there and I can always put the bell on top if I find it. So we'll put the gold sequin there for a little blingy blingy. I'm gonna keep this off my hands. Oh my gosh. Makes my fingers crazy. My skin doesn't like this stuff. I get like a little blister sometimes. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, I'm happy with that. That one's done. So we'll set that aside. All right, we've got two down. Let's work on this. I would love to put, I'm not, um, I know kind of what I want. I just don't know if I have what I want. Oh. I want to keep it to the little children, you know, because I'm really enjoying the little kids. Oh, 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 that just triggered something. Hold on. I use this little binder with pockets for all my um, ephemera. I used to have it everywhere. I used to keep it with each kit. Then when I would want it, I had to search the whole world for it, which... I don't want to do that. Okay, where's all my cutouts for my kids? I just pulled one to the front the other day that I knew I wanted to use. <sighs> might not be this book. It might be my other book. Don't mind me. Okay, it must be my other book. It's not that one. Let me see if it's this one. Oh, this has a lot of, I've got a lot of, ah, uh, there we are. Oh, she's too big. Darn it. Do I have her any smaller? I know some things I reduce down because I work in such small little pieces that, these are from Rachel at Roxy Creations Christmas kit last year and the year before. I would like her with a little umbrella, but I think she's going to be too big. All of mine are too big. Ah, too big. Okay, so these are too big. Darn it. All right. Let's see. What do I have here? These are from Tracy's Seaside Studio. These are fussy cuts from last year or the year before. This is identical, I think, to Jolene, so I don't need that one. I just thought I might have something. Oh, aren't those so sweet? But I want them on something. Oh, there are some cute things in Tracy Seaside. Okay, so we'll leave Tracy Seaside Studio out. We'll see if I can find the pocket I just got those out of. Yeah. I tried to label what I could remember last year. Um, okay, I want that for something else. That's going to be for something else. I just haven't found the image for this. 
So let's go back to Jolene's kit and let's possibly use these guys are adorable. A little big though. Not quite big enough. All right. How about our girl? Yeah, we'll put her on there. Ow. Ooh, my hands. Arthritis. Oh boy. Ah. Let me do a little more. I'm going to leave a wider edge around her. I'm not going to super fussy cut her. But I do want to get a little more of the white off. I want to leave a little bit of the white, actually, for a change. I think it looks great on these when you do that. That little white edge looks adorable. So we're going to lightly. Now, my scissors have a mind of their own, so they may go right to the edge. <laughs> muscle memory. That is amazing what muscle memory is. It allows us to remember things. And automatically do something without us thinking too particularly hard about it which it just tried to do oh shoot okay let me see my little scissors um, I don't really want sharp edges so I'm gonna kind of um, round them off a little bit Yeah, it's going around. Add a little. Okay, I think let's get rid of that. A little trash bucket up here. Move my remote so I don't end up turning off the video. Let me make sure we are still videoing. And we're at, oh, we're gonna run out of time. All right. Well, really, I don't have time now because. If we figure this out correctly, I can go over an hour. I just know you guys get bored real quick. Some of you, some of you really enjoy it and watch the very last second. <clears throat> Sorry about my raspy throat. It's a morning thing. Now, I want a piece of ribbon down the middle. Or, um, ribbon. A uh, lace. I could use ribbon too, I guess. But I want it to be fairly narrow, so I've brought up my lace bucket to see if I have anything exciting that I want to use. Actually, I like that, but that's too wide. I think I have a thinner one of that. Let me see if I do. That reminds me, I need to get a piece of this over here so I have it to use. Have it on a big old um, thing, and I need to cut it down and bring it over here. Where's my thinner one? Where is my little one of that? I oh, did I use it all up? Oh, I bet I used it all up. Mm, darn. I'm not seeing it anywhere in my bucket. Aww. Well. Hmm. What about this one? Oh, this one. Maybe we could do that one. Or that one. Okay, let's see what we got there. I wonder if we could just go like that and like that. Or like, I don't know, neither one of those is doing it for me. Don't you hate it when you have something in your head and you cannot find it and you're like, I know I have it. I know it's here. Or when I cleaned up my studio, which is the thing I dislike about cleaning my studio, <laughs> is I put it away and think, I'll remember where I put that. No, I won't. Don't you yeah, hate that? Ugh, not remembering where you put things. There, I think I like that. I'll put that other one up back in my bucket. And I'll just um, glue it down. And I'll put her on there. I'll figure out where it's going to go. Right to the edge of the music paper, I think. 
Okay. Little bit of fabric tech got to do it. I'm going to be trimming it off for sure. I don't know, what should we call this? Christmas, making Christmas ephemera? Okay, oh, I have to open my jar. I don't have that open to drop it into today. Oh, she's cute. I don't know if that she needs anything else unless I put a piece of ribbon down there. Um, I have this fun piece of sequins. No, too, too, not, not vintage enough. Not vintage enough. But I did pick up a cute trim that I think might work. I've used elsewhere, and I didn't know it came from Hobby Lobby. So this cute little red and green trim that might work. Well, before I cut that open, there's a little bit left here from another project. So let's see. Yeah, that's a lot of red and green. So I'll wait to open that um, till later. Okay. I feel like it needs something else. What, you guys? Oh, uh, maybe some music paper, I'm thinking. Now, let me get rid of some more of this white bothering me. I think a little bit of, um, I did, aha, there we go. Oh, just a little bit though. Not as much as I just ripped off. straight I tore that when I really wasn't trying to. <laughs> you know, if I've been trying to do that, phew, not going to happen, right? A little bit quiet today. Sorry, guys. I don't have a ton to say. I have to think about what my week was. I don't know. This was a busy one. We had a lot to do. We did get to go shopping and I worked on videos and I worked on this book a ton. I mean, I worked on it so much. It was crazy. Every second I got, I sat down and worked on it so that I could finish it. There we go. That's good. That that finishes are off. We'll, we'll do that. I'm going to use the fabric tack because I am putting it on top of the ribbon. I mean the lace. The vintage lace. This is vintage lace we're using. Let me see if that's in the right place. And it is. Mm -hmm. I got my new Euro Punch from We Are Memory Keepers, which I love. I was wanting to use it, but it's too big for this little piece. So I may just do a little slot punch. There we go. I feel like that needs a um, little something across the bottom there. Is that so far as I don't lose my pin? Yeah, let's just finish off the bottom here. Once I get going and I get in the groove, it just goes fast. But the problem is getting myself into that groove and keep going, you know. That might be a little too much glue, Lordy. I think I got carried away there. Oh, my goodness. 
I did get carried away. Yikes, that's gloopy. For sure, a bit too much glue. Oh, I really scrubbed this mat down. I had so much glue on it. Oh my gosh. Couldn't even see the numbers. Oh my gosh, I want to keep going, you guys. And I've run out of time. I mean, I've met an hour. I've run out of time because I feel like you guys wouldn't want to keep watching. So... Gosh, I've gone through three rows of pearls already. Oh my goodness. Well, that last project for Chevy Air Boutique was quite a lot of pearls. side, left side, and then right side. I have to test to see. I think these are pretty strong. So there you have it. We've got our, our tag. I'm going to get out my little Tuck Amongst Yourself bag from Gail Gustinelli that I love and pull out one of my punches. As you can see, this is where I've decided to put all of my lovely special tag punches. Great bag, the canvas bags are good and strong. So I may just put a piece of lace at the top if this won't go through. I'm not sure if this is gonna punch through or not. Oh, punch through nicely. Oh, there we go. And then I'll put a piece of red ribbon through there which would be this, I think. And yeah, I have to figure out how if I want to tie it or put a bow or just glue it up there. I might just glue it up there. Alrighty, I'll just put a little bit of glue at the top and see if that'll do it. Otherwise I can stitch across it or something like that. But isn't that adorable? Oh, that came out so darn cute. Really happy with it. Took, sorry, it took me so long to get going today. Uh, finally get going on a roll and it's time to call it a day. But what I think I'll do is I'll have a little lunch and then come back and finish making videos here. Maybe I'll tie that with a little gold cord or put a little stone up there or something. Figure out what I want to put up there to finish it off. Maybe a bigger pearl or... Gosh, I have scissors everywhere as usual. You know me and my tools. I'm collecting tools everywhere. Put back in my bag. All right, I need to get some more of those bags. I love them. They're great. All right, so we'll do one more pearl and then we'll wind this up and we'll call it a day, call it a video. And then I'll try to do another one and a little more Christmas ephemera to get you guys going and get me going and finish it up. Well, isn't that pretty? I'm really happy with that tag. It's gorgeous. Not really, really cute happy with that. So let's look at what we did make today, which was nowhere near as much as I wanted. Uh, I'm sort of bummed at myself, but you know, what are you going to do? So that's what we got made today. We've gone over our beautiful folder. Um, so we've had a little reveal on that. And um, you guys have gotten to see, you know, what this is going to look like. So uh, there we go. Alrighty. Well, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate you for coming along. 
and watch for one more of these videos with some more ephemera um, and whatever I finish on that will be all I'll do on camera on video and then after that we'll just have to see you know where we are for um, whether I just do a reveal or I don't you know hopefully in the next video we could do some more pieces and then and just go over it one more time. And the next time you see it, then, you know, I'll list it for sale. So thank you for watching everyone. I really appreciate that. And all of your kind comments, all of your likes, all of your thumbs up. Y'all mean the world to me. I love you all. And I hope to see you all very soon. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.